Okay, what we have here is the Logica Diagnostic ROMs running in an Amiga 4000, which I'll probably be putting up for sale soon. Um, I was having a few issues with this machine. Occasionally it just wouldn't boot. Um, I couldn't find a reason why. But it would boot instantly with these new ROMs in. No problem at all. So I had a close inspection of the um, Kickstart ROMs and two of the pins had fractured. Even though the pins were still there, they were hanging on for dear life. Anyway, this is the Diagnostic version 2 um, from 1997. Waiting for input. So if I press a mouse button, my foot it will detect all kinds of things and what machine do I have? Well, I have a number 6 in this instance and as you can see we can do a keyboard test which will give you a full uh, illustration of the keyboard that's not particularly interesting uh, I might as well go through it. So number one, full keyboard test. And you quit it by pressing the mouse button. Left is to exit. Um, not particularly interested in any of these because the keyboard works fine. CIA test. I'm sure this is particularly interesting if you get in random crashes or oh my oh, balls uh, you know random crashes or programs just not running for no apparent reason when they should um, the CIA's control uh, the keyboard no they don't or do they I'm not sure now no, I've said that exit to main menu Internal drive test is a floppy test. Parallel port, serial, external uh, the floppy drive. Control port. Don't know what the control port is. A control port. Memory test. Chip. Okay, let's measure some chips. Can't use address, but oh, okay, we're running chip, obviously, which is fair enough. Ranger, uh, that'll be a, uh, that's Amiga 500 and Amiga 1000 expansion RAM, so that should say no. Right exit, okay. PCMCIA, obviously the 4000 is now, that's a, that's a 1200 and 600 feature. What's this? Didn't look what this was. Is this 32 bit RAM? I didn't notice. It says no clock in the top corner. I'm not sure if you can see that on camera. Yes, you can. It says no clock uh, simply because the, the clock battery has been removed. So whatever RAM that is, oh 32 bit fast RAM, okay, 32 bit slot RAM, now this is running a, um, it's got an 030 Commodore card in it, which has got no RAM on board, so it should say, no memory, okay, user memory test, don't know what that is, okay, exit the main menu, okay, so display, um, low, high, ham, half, playfield, overscan, low res 256, high res M8. Well, 
one of the Ranger cards. Sprites, sprites off. Auto display, auto display. Oh, auto. Yeah, okay. Back to normal. Exit. Okay. Audio. It's be a series of bleeps, I would imagine. Go on then. Auto test. I will probably start to run this on my machines now that I repair and test and all the rest of it. So it's a 60 out of 30, no FPU, it's a Commodore card, the whatever they call it, can't remember now. AGA obviously, 40 meg total memory, 12 fast 2 chip, auto config devices are found, that's because it's got a couple of Zorro cards in. Keyboard, yep, yeah. internal disk drive, none. Internal disk drive, none. Yes there is. Oh, yeah, okay. The disk drive, it'll say none because it needs a uh, a workbench disk or it just doesn't work for whatever reason that is. Miscellaneous gus gus gus. Audio signals, oh, okay. What else have we got? About Diagnostic 2, software diagnostics for Palamigas, all concepts from programming in pure assembly. Interface, uh, blah blah blah, okay. Can't quit that, so we've got to look at it. But that, in a nutshell, that is it. it you can go deeper into um, the startup, uh, the boot up sequence in hardware to look out what fails if your machine won't boot for whatever reason. Um, it will also do looping tests of everything, RAM, sound, video, whatever. The thing, the only thing I can find that is missing is the IDE or SCSI test. There aren't any IDE or SCSI tests. Um, I would have thought the 4000 would have had an IDE test, but it doesn't. So, there you go. Um, I'm not sure if there is a... Can I quit this? I'm not sure if there is a... list of Zorro cards. Total memory. Oh, we can fit found. Oh, there we go. Uh, Zorro 2, 1. Don't know what it is. I mean, what, oh, I've only got one Zorro card in, that's a USB card, Zorro 2. Raw data. Alright. Not much info there. Four exit, okay. Uh, yeah, the startup info is quite interesting. So this is telling you what it starts at the boot sequence and what has failed. In this instance, nothing. So that's good to know. It does break it down to you, up for you, what's going on. What else have we got? Oh, to config found. I've just been there. Startup misc info. Oh, for me. Okay. <clears throat> oh, control port. Yeah, it's joystick and mouse, obviously. Just, just come to me in a flash of flashingness. Uh, CPU vectors. Yeah, it's nice. Then. Cool. Don't really know what that means. Oof. Lots of traps. Cool. Uh, no, 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 no. Exit. So yeah, um, 
So there we have the Logica Diagnostic. I think you can download these, or oh, no you can't, you can buy them on the Amiga Forever uh, emulator. It comes in one of the ROMs, uh, as a ROM, and you can burn it to your own um, EPROMs. Internal drive. Give me some deep testing. Uh, won't. Miss some preferences. We've been there, haven't we? Colour always. I'm showing a white bar flashing here. The audio test on it. Fascinating as that is, I'll turn it down. It's not very interesting. My phone's buzzing. For no apparent reason. So that's it. That is the I keep knocking the keyboard or the video cam. That is the Logica diagnostic test. Um, it seems to be the same test for the 4000, 3000, and um, a 1200. I've got a 1200 ball kicking about. I'll plug it in and uh, uh, see what it comes up with. The only difference will be the PCMI test that we're the A500 um, ROM will be the software will be on a single ROM. It won't be on two because it's 16 bit. Anyway, that is the logic of ROMs. Thank you.